Is it all a lie? Amber Heard made Eddie Redmayne envious by using Johnny Depp and publicly kissing him. The Johnny Depp Amber Heard defamation trial made many details about the former couple's interactions public, but during their time together, they appeared to be deeply in love. Following their appearances in the 2012 movie The Rum Diary, the couple began dating. They began appearing in public more frequently after making their relationship official. Even the fact that the Aquaman actress kissed her ex-husband several times in public made headlines. The Danish Girl's 2015 world premiere is one such occurrence. As he accompanied his ex-wife to the movie's premiere at the Venice International Film Festival, Johnny Depp attracted attention. At the Venice International Film Festival premiere of the 2015 movie The Danish Girl, Amber Heard joined the cast. Eddie Redmayne, Alicia Vikander, Tom Hooper, and Matthias Sconertz all made their way down the red carpet with the rest of the group, but as he attended the event with his ex-wife, the Pirates of the Caribbean actor stole the show. The Rum Diary actress accessorized a floral print sleeveless gown with a thigh split with a chic messy bun. The event's highlight, though, was Depp and Heard making out on the red carpet. The actress from Zombieland unexpectedly kissed her ex-husband as she turned to face him. The Transcendence actor also stepped up without hesitation to give another peck on the lips. Heard revealed during the slander trial that her ex-husband had reservations about her infidelity with her co-star Eddie Redmayne. Although she vehemently denied having a romantic involvement with the star of The Good Nurse, many people thought that it was just another another fabrication of the drive angry actress. Amber Heard asserted during the defamation trial that the studio scaled back her role in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom as a result of the case. Her role in the movie, according to a recent industry insider, has not been cut or trimmed at all. According to sources, she would be featured throughout the entire movie, according to industry insider K.C. Walsh. Yes, not at all shortened or reduced. K.C. Walsh stated, I had a source say they were seeking to cut her, but it appears like that is not going to be the case. The insider also disclosed that Benefolk's Parts, who was anticipated to make a cameo in the future sequel, had actually been removed by the company. According to K.C. Walsh, Willem Dafoe's character Volko dies off-screen, thus it is not anticipated that he will appear in the movie either. Why Dafoe would not play the same character in the sequel has not yet been made clear. Fans, however, are not pleased with the idea that Heard might appear in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom.